guys, Jenna here with Queen of Diamonds. I just wanted to show you today the diamond painting that I have chosen for the event called Spring with Sarah Mustafa. Now, Sarah Mustafa's artwork is a little new to me. I just discovered her through Diamond Art Club. And, oh my gosh, I love her artwork. I looked her up on Instagram and something about her artwork is so, I don't know, it's just so powerful to me. I think it's because she portrays women in a very strong warrior type, yet beautiful, um, figures and I just love that. She has a lot of beautiful artwork that has not been um, brought into diamond paintings yet but they are so pretty. I'm really excited to see what other artwork Diamond Art Club will have from Sarah Mustafa in the future. I have three of her pieces. I just finished Springtime Blossoms and she's beautiful and it was a toss-up for me on this event whether or not to use Sea Queen or Mermaid Princess but I decided to go with Sea Queen. Um, the main reason I decided to go with Sea Queen, it was, it was really a tie, was because she has iridescent drills and I wanted to work with iridescent drills. So that'll be fun. Now, a couple things I want to mention about this event. It starts on March 19th. Um, it is hosted by Eve of Queen V Crafts. It is the first year that she has hosted an event, and um, or this event. And I'm really excited. I've exchanged some messages with her. She's very sweet. Um, she's answered a lot of questions for me. She does have a YouTube channel. So if you want to look her up, maybe I'll include her link on my um, video if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> this is all new to me. Maybe one of my daughters can help me. But um, she's very sweet. And if you're interested in the event, I say jump in because it's going to be really fun. So Sea Queen is beautiful. I'm so excited to do uh, to do this diamond painting. She has 45 colors. She is 50.7 centimeters by 63.9 centimeters. And take a look at this rendering. It's so pretty. I love her. Um, I wanted to show you also, when I unboxed her, I noticed that she has the new perforated plastic. And so did the other kit that I'm working on right now called Rosia by Camilla Derrico. And I've heard a lot of pros and cons about the new plastic. I like it. It took me a minute to adjust. Of course, I didn't have a long time with Diamond Art Club's old plastic because I just started doing Diamond Art Club kits in this past year. But I do notice the difference in the two. I I really don't mind the perforated plastic. I still use washi tape because it's hard to tell where the perforated plastic ends and where the um, sticky part is because they're both shiny and clear. So, or this is clear and they're both shiny. But uh, with washi tape, that resolves that. I do see what people are saying because I used to like to make my own sections as big as I wanted to give um, give that diamond painting time for. But I personally don't leave my diamond paintings exposed for very long because I work on them a lot. And so it didn't really bother me too much. But I can see why it's, it, I can see both sides of it. But I think Diamond Art Club is going to probably try and um, fix it up a little bit so that there's not that problem with... Um, being able to see where the perforated is. But I like the perforated plastic, honestly. Um, so that's, I'm excited that it has the new plastic on it because I do like that. Um, let me show you, I've obviously already opened her because I've got her out. I wanted her to flatten out a little bit before the event started. So I'll just show you, um, we'll just go through her box real quick. Uh, let's see, we've got the toolkit and here are her drills and the other things that came with her. So I've already opened the drill, drill or the toolkit, sorry, but we're just going to go through it really quick so you can see what comes in Diamond Art Club toolkits if you've never ordered from them before. Now I love Diamond Art Club toolkits. I'll tell you they are the best toolkits I've ever received with a diamond painting. It's pretty cool actually. Okay so you get a pen and a squishy and the colors vary on these. Today I got brown, that's kind of cool. Um, I got a cover minder. I've been wanting this cover minder, so I was really excited to see that I got that one. A cover minder is mag a magnet that helps you by holding the plastic cover back from the sticky canvas while you're working on it. I love collecting the cover minders, and not just from Diamond Art Club. Like, I just love um, cover minders in general. And you get a caddy with some wax in it. So you get two pallets of wax. And they're wax, because I'm a wax girl, and their wax is really good, actually. The plastic baggies. And you get two multi-placers. And I always get a four and a seven with Diamond Art Club. So I think that's generally what they send. I got some washi tape. Look how pretty that washi tape is. That's beautiful. And I got a tray with a stopper. 
So that is generally what comes in Diamond Art Club's toolkits. Now, if you get a square kit, you will have a pair of metal tweezers too. I'm not sure if they send those all the time, but with square kits, I think you do receive them generally. So let's just pop everything back in here. And I wanted to take a look at these drills really quick. Okay. This is the plastic cover, by the way, that the canvas came in to keep the dust from it. It's very, I like that they do that. But there's no reason to keep that now. So this is my sticker sheet. So these stickers make it very convenient to kit up because you just peel them off and put them on your containers. And like I said, she has 45 colors. Let's see, she got one AB and one iridescent drill. Now, these are nice because even though I have a diamond painting journal, I don't always have my diamond painting journal handy, and sometimes I'll forget for days to go back and put my end date after I finish a diamond painting. I generally keep this sticker sheet with my kit until I'm done, and so I've always got the sticker sheet with me. So it's nice because then I can write the end date down in case I forget to put it in my journal right away. And this is what I put in my journal to keep track of what diamond painting is what. There's that. And I got the thank you pamphlet. Okay, let's get into the drills. All right. And I can't remember if I mentioned that she's a round drill. These are so pretty. I love Diamond Art Club's round drills are so beautiful. There's a lot of white, or 3865, I guess that's not white, but. There's a lot of that color. Very pretty. There are the ABs. Oh, now these ABs are really pretty. I love that. You can see the shimmer effect. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's for the Northern Lights. It just gives your diamond painting a little extra sparkle and pop. So it's really pretty. I like that color. They have a special coating on them that just has a glitter effect. Okay, I didn't see the iridescent drills, but we'll just keep looking. There they are. Oh my gosh, those are fun. They're crystals. Well, I don't know if you'd consider those a crystal or not, but it looks like they are. Those are really pretty. I'm hoping these are going to be, I'll have to look at the symbol for the iridescence. Yeah, I was hoping they'd be in her earring, and it looks like they're also going to be throughout here, her collar here, and the hairpiece. That's going to be really beautiful, and they're all just kind of spread throughout. That's going to be so pretty. I'm excited for that. So those are her colors. Oh, I didn't show these. Very pretty colors. I'm excited to see this. Okay, I'm gonna put those to the side because I'm gonna kit her up right now. This is the kit that I have chosen to use with her um, simply because it's got enough of the screw on tops for me. I was gonna use my Elizabeth Ward storage kit, but it's I don't have enough bottles and I do have another Elizabeth Ward on its way, but it won't be here until next week. So. I'm just gonna go ahead with this one to get her kitted up. This is currently kitted up for Rosia. So down here I've got all of Rosia's colors and a couple here, but that still leaves me plenty for Sea Queen. So all in here, I have all of my kit contents for Rosia. So I'll just have to um, add my Sea Queen stuff in here and keep track of what what drills go with what. It's really not that big of a deal. So that is all my Rosia toolkit stuff. Um, I'm going to kit her up and then I will be back to show you what I've done with her, what it looks like when it's all kitted up. Okay, so I kitted her up 
And this is what the kit now looks like, all prepared and ready to go for Tuesday. Um, these are, this is going to be a little bit, I've never had two kits in this at the same time. So it's going to be a little bit confusing until I finish Rosia. But down here, like I showed you earlier, are all the colors for Rosia. And then she has two more right here. So all of those are taken for Rosia. But the rest of these are all for Sea Queen. So what I've done is I've just put them in order that they came on the sticker sheet because that's just how I roll. That's just the easiest thing for me. A lot of other people do it different ways. Um, I decided to separate them uh, just to keep it easier for myself. So I have all of Rosia's kit essentials in there. And then I pulled some things for Sea Queen um, that I put in here. So that'll keep them separate. And then that way when I'm working on one or the other, I have it all neatly ready to go. So there's my kit. I also want to show you, I'm so excited. I got my first accessory from a small shop and it's a tray from Bella Art de Nicole. And you guys, I love it. So I just placed an order for another one. Um, it's really nice. The lid fits really snug. I think this is a really cute design on it. I had to have that design. It has a stopper in it. Um, it took me a minute to get adjusted to it because I'll be honest, when I first put the drills in the tray, let me close that up, sorry. When I first put the drills in the tray and shook it to line them up, it lined them up a little bit zigzagged and it just, it kind of bothered me at first, but then I just got in the habit of kind of tilting it and tapping on it and the drills line up just fine. So I really love it now. That's why I placed an order for another one. I'm trying some trays from other small shops too. I just haven't gotten the orders yet, but this is my first one. It's really cute. So anyway, that's my staple tray that I am now using. And this is my kit for Sea Queen. I'm really excited. It starts on Tuesday the 19th. And so um, you can have an already started kit and qualify for the event, but I'm going to wait and start her on the 19th. So I just, it's my first event. So I just kind of want to see how I do with um, starting it for the event and everything. Anyway, I'll post the information about summer with Sarah Mustafa and, or spring with Sarah Mustafa. I'm sorry. Okay, let me try this again. I'll post the information for the event spring with Sarah Mustafa. And I hope you'll go check it out. If you're a fan of Sarah Mustafa or you have some of her artwork in your stash, Please join us for this event. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm super excited. And I want to support Eve of Queen V Crafts. Sorry, I have to think about that for a second. It's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful to you in some way. And if you like, please click like and subscribe. I would really love for you to join me on this new journey of diamond painting with all this fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.